All right, guys, it is here. This is a Lapera solo seat for a Dyna. Well, I guess all Dynas, but I'm putting it on a Dyna switchback. This is designed to move my wife up. I think it is a couple inches um, and it's more narrow in the front so her legs will actually be able to touch the ground a little bit better. My wife is probably 5'1". She likes to tell everybody she's about 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, We're hoping this seat will sit her a little more forward in the saddle and because of the narrow width in between her legs her thighs up towards the gas tank maybe she'll be able to reach the ground a little easier now she can't touch the ground obviously she is on her tippy toes which makes backing the motorcycle up a little difficult for her so hopefully this new lapera seat that i found on facebook marketplace is going to do the trick all right guys so i'm going to go ahead and show you the current riding setup that my wife uses right now just waiting for her to come around the corner here she comes now i want you to notice where her feet position are Okay, so as you can see, she's on her tiptoes and she does have a hard time backing this bike up. So what we're gonna look at is this new solo seat. How far forward is it gonna move her and how lo much lower to the ground will she be with her feet? Well, let me go ahead and show you exactly what I'm talking about close up. This is a natural riding position for her. Let me go around the other side. I shouldn't say riding position, I should say her natural stopping position. And that's the issue right there. The bike fits her like a glove, she just can't touch the ground. Now we we are looking into putting shocks on the bike for her, but right now we want to try this seat. So let's go get that new LaPera and see how it looks. I got on Facebook Marketplace and I found somebody selling a slightly used LaPera solo seat. You can see how much more narrow this is. Still has a lot of foam in it. Actually, this foam is a little more dense i believe is the correct word so it's more firm for her which i think is going to still give her the support on a longer ride but because of how narrow that is i think she's going to be able to get her feet where she wants so let's get the old seat off let's get the new seat on let's see what it looks like with her on the bike Okay, so as you guys can see, it dramatically changed the look of this motorcycle. Pay close attention to the width from here to here. Now, her cylinder head is right here. Man, that's hot. So that's definitely going to move her leg closer to that. But we'll put those guards on it. Hopefully that'll help her. But let's get her on here and see what she looks like. All right, Rachel, what's your first reaction? It's uncomfortable as hell. But... Look where your feet are. Look at that angle of your foot. Let me go to the other side so my shadow is not in it. Okay, so from everything that I was told about a LaPera seat is you really need to break this in. And the guy that I bought it from told me that it was not broke in. That he actually bought this seat once it was delivered to his house, he realized it was the wrong one. It was for the it was the reach seat for short people. So it is not broke in yet, which I had heard was completely uncomfortable. But do you feel like you touched the ground better? Yeah. Why don't we back it into the road and see if you can back this bike up, which was your main concern. I'm definitely closer to the tank. So it did move you forward. Well, I'm definitely on that box now. I definitely can tell that you're having an easier time with your feet planted onto the ground, which is what we were looking for. My main concern at this point right now is that her inner thigh is going to get burned on that cylinder head because the seat did move her forward. Put your feet up and see where they are on that control right now. They're fine for here. Try to hit that highway pit. Can you reach a little further? <laughs> nah, not really. It's the short curse. 
think once my feet are up, I'll be okay because this keeps my leg away. But down, my legs are on the boxes a lot. <laughs> okay, so it definitely moved her foot placement to where she's a little more sure-footed when her feet are down. But as we suspected, the battery box, uh, the cylinder head, her legs, her inner thighs are definitely touching that right now, which is going to be an issue. Hopefully, I can put those air deflector guards in there to help keep her legs off of that. But all in all, it dramatically changed the way that bike looks. Look at that rear fender. That's a sexy fender. So, guys, just so you know, this is a 2013 Dyna Switchback that has the reckless fairing on it. And all we're trying to do is make this bike a little bit more comfortable for her. guys have it when you're thinking about changing your rider position always start with the seat and then go from there a simple change of a seat can change the whole rider position she's got stock handlebars she's got stock everything on this bike even the stock ride height all we did was drop her in that saddle a little bit now the next review is gonna have to be let's say 500 miles and knowing my wife that's gonna be in about a week We'll go ahead and tell you a review on the comfort level of the Lapera Reach seat. I'm not exactly sure what the exact name is, so I know I'm saying it wrong, but I will link the seat below. I uh, just need to look up what it is. But as you can see, she can back this motorcycle up now, which is going to add loads of confidence to her riding down the road. Until next time, like, subscribe. See you next video.